All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are here back at the tackle store today, about to run inside and uh, run over some ideas we have for a little podcast booth. So we're gonna make our way inside here. First things first, I'm gonna have a bunch of information linked down below in the description. A ton of y'all have reached out and were interested in getting a job either here at the retail location, up in our warehouse. A ton of you have messaged us, so we're gonna have everything linked down below. There's gonna be one link that's gonna take you to all of our job openings, so if you are interested in applying for a job, all that's gonna be down there. I'm also gonna have one other link to sign up for our email list. We have a ton of stuff coming up, all the information about the grand opening, Openings and everything that we have going on is all going to be sent out through email. That's the easiest way to communicate with each one of y'all. So if you are interested in all that information, make sure you sign up for the email list. The link down below is the same one that Beach Bomb has, the same one that Brandt has. So if you have signed up with any of them, it's all going to go to the same place. And if you sign up for this one too and you've already signed up for one of theirs, it is not going to duplicate the email. You will not get the email twice. <sighs> Enough of that. Here it is. The retail location with manager Bum. Do you think I'd make a good manager? I think you'd make a great manager. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send in my application and with my credentials and see if I can be the store manager. I like it. You just sit there at the desk, tell everybody what to do. Sell more tackle. <laughs> Lay down the hammer. <laughs> Oh, uh, y'all haven't seen this on my channel yet. Um, I'm sure you've seen Beach Run's video. But this is going to be the main location here in Gulf Shores. A lot of space to fit a lot of tackle. We've got a million dollars worth of tackle, and I, th I think we're going to run out of room here. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But we do have one idea, which I'm really excited about. And that is a spot for the podcast. We want to do a podcast booth here. Yes. And we, we have some inspiration from another local guy in our area that does this. And we want to kind of have one place where we can film podcasts and do them live. We want to be able to shoot some podcasts live here in the store. Y'all can come in, see us record it, and then when we're done, we can come out, do a little meet and greet. We, uh, okay, I see you walking over here. We talked about doing it over here, but I think we've transitioned. We might put it to this corner. Y'all coming down below. That corner, that <laughs> corner. <Yeah. laughs> and then we're coming over to this corner. So, all right, so we'll show them, but what they were thinking is this is kind of more like, that we might be kind of hidden back here. Yeah, that's over, true. Over here, we might be kind of more front and center. Yeah, kind of more focal point. Oh, and yeah. we've got the two windows. It's natural light. Yeah, which we can, if we need to, we can put curtains over it if we need to block out yeah. the light. But people like outside can, uh, can watch in. Very and, smart. You know, make, you guys can make silly faces. <laughs> Y'all can be in the background of our videos from these two windows. Yes. I like that idea. Yeah, isn't that kind of cool? But and like, we got a fan we can have Yeah, it gets a little hot. <laughs> got a fan. But like, if we if you start making too stupid of faces, we can just like... <laughs> <laughs> That'll be perfect. We'll have some blinds, so when y'all start making crazy stuff, we'll just rip the blind down. That'll be fun. I like that idea. And so kind of the thought on this, I guess, is basically building out walls yeah, here. Yeah, we probably have it like... Like maybe from or, that arch point to that arch point or something. Yeah, and we'd have to have a uh, a lid on it. You see how echoey it is? Yeah, but yeah. obviously the stuff in here, it shouldn't be this echoey, but right. we, gotta, we gotta block out the noise. Yeah. Because you know we're gonna probably have music playing. We have like soundproof paneling yeah. things. We, we can't get too fancy with it, but I, I'm really excited about it. So Me too. And we can put some cool stuff on top, like since it'll have like a roof on it. Yeah, so oh yeah, yeah. Cool yeah. Fish mounts. Give maybe, us maybe a deer mount. Start sending stuff to uh, what, what's my address? Fifteen forty-five Gulf Shores Parkway, number one three five Gulf Shores, Alabama three six five four two. Send us some Link stuff. Below. We'll put it up there. Absolutely, I like that idea. I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be nice to have one central location because right now. We kind of like film some at his house. We still spot at his brother's office. We kind of bounce all over the place. You still got your mattress here. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to take this one home with me or maybe leave it for Freddy. I think Freddy could probably enjoy this. Um, I don't know. That's kind of gross. I'm going to let somebody else get that out of here. I think that's going to wrap it up for here at this location. We are going to be doing some offshore fishing. I will catch y'all out on Guys, we made it to a spot in about 400 foot of water. So we're going to use a little deep drop rig here with an electric reel. 
We got some squid on four of these drops and a two pound weight. Like I said, about 400 foot of water. So we're gonna drop this down, see what we have hanging out in this deep water. This electric reel is perfect to be able to get these fish up quick. 400 foot's a long ways down to like hand crank. Of course, a lot of y'all are probably gonna tell me that, um, y'all probably use some words that I won't say on camera we're here. Not hand cranking <laughs> The camera doesn't see the guys that are actually slow pitch jigging. I'm just here trying to catch some fish. But we're gonna drop this down to the bottom. We're about halfway there now. See if we can get hooked up on some fish. Trying to load up the cooler. Gonna go home, do a little catch and cook for you guys. So let's see, let's see if we can get on this deep drop here. Currently we're about 65 miles offshore right now. Nice long run trying to catch some delicious fish. All right, there's bottom. Crank it up, a few cranks. Don't want to lose a two pound weight. We're just going to watch the rod tip, looking for some of those hits there. Then all we got to do is just flip that switch and up they come. There we go. There's some hits. There's some hits. There's some hits. Come on. Come on. Come on. There they are. There they go. Crank the switch. Fish on. Let's go. This might be two. Let's see if we can get more than one fish on this drop here. We had four hooks out, four different baits. Let's see what we got. All right, fish is almost up here, guys. The reel's gonna automatically shut off, that way you don't like reel the whole rig up in the rod. We'll crank it up just a hair more. There we go. We only got one. They do have to be 10 inches to keep here. Make sure we got 10 inches. Yeah, it's about 12, 13, so we are gonna go ahead and throw it in the box. Perfect size for a sandwich. The other three hooks still had bait on, so I'm just gonna bait this other one real quick. Surprised we didn't lose baits on the other ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and bait this back up. Drop her back down, four hooks with some squid. There she goes. Easy as that. Hey Cap, hey. how are we turning the seat keeper on? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just got the bottom here. Already getting some little hits. There we go, there we go. Come on. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Get him! Yeah. I might have just lost him. Drop it right back down. Tight enough. Come back for me, baby. There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. This is like super easy to reel in, guys. Remember the last video when I was using an electric reel, we were talking about drinking beer. And now I can drink a beer while the fish is coming up. This is definitely a lazy man's fishing. But when you're in this deep of water. Or a smart man. Or a smart man, yeah. <laughs> Lazy or smart? This deep of water, that's a long ways up to hand crank a fish. 15 meters left. Let's see what we got. There she is. A nice. Ugh. Check out this bee liner. That is a nice one. This is a nice vermilion snapper, also known as bee liner, mingo, really good size. These make delicious fish tacos, fish sandwiches, any way you want to cook them. We're going to throw this guy in the box, drop another one back down, see if we can load up the cooler. All right, guys, we're back on bottom here with some more squid. Let's see how quick we can get hooked up. I'd like to catch more than one on this drop. Again, we got four hooks with baits. Try to see if we can at least get two fish. All right, there's one on. Let's give it a second, see if we can get another one over here. There it is, there's a good bite, there's a good bite. We need his buddy to come and join him. There we go, there we go. That's the one. That's gotta be more than one fish here. Let's see if that's gonna do it for us. All right, fish is almost up. Let's see if we got more than one. 
We got two fish. There we go. Two different species as well. Yeah. Check it out, y'all. We got a nice bee liner and a porgy, also known as white snapper. Both of them very good to eat. We're gonna keep both these guys. A little bigger than the last one. Nice bee liner. Yeah, baby. And guys, this is a porgy or a white snapper. Very good to eat. We're gonna throw this one in the box as well. Yeah. <laughs> Dolphin Island fishing report. <laughs> All right, back on bottom again. Getting hit instantly. Trying to get more than one again. There's some good hits going on here. All right, all right, let's send it, let's send it. See if we can get more than one. Trying to get two beelineers. Tanner's on, Tanner's on. Tanner's on. Get him, buddy. You know. We got the electric roll going. We got Tanner slow pitch jigging. No better fish right here. We got Sean just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, y'all. I'm tight on the slow pitch. On the I, I gotta check my electric reel. All right, we're so good. What you got? I'm tight on the slow pitch, y'all. Pitching the goofish blue. Got the Johnny Jig going. You know, check it out. Bearded Brad, he's got the discount code. Just go get you some. They're great. That's right. We're on the DI Reef Monster. Hey, 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 hey. Can't forget about my fish over here. Another nice bee liner. Ugh. That might be the biggest one for me so far. That is a toad. It might be a PBBB. All right, I can't say I really keep track of my PBBB, but this might be my PBBB. Let's go. Let's go, baby. How big is he? He is. 19 nice. without pinching the tail, 19 inch bee liner. That's a stud. That is definitely gonna be a good taco. True Come on. You can do it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh. See what we got. Let's see what we got. We're getting some pretty vicious shakes here. See if this is the one. My battery is about to die. I bet you got a whole lot of these. It's not a grouper. <laughs> it's not a grouper. I have 1% left on this camera. If it's a bee liner, it's a giant or it's multiple. It's neither. Not what I was expecting there. Nice size porgy though. He was fighting the whole way up. Made me think he was bigger than he really was. Nice catch, bro. A different bait, but yeah. <laughs> on the slow pitch? No. On oh. a 11 inch butterfly vermilion snapper. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. That's a good one. I got something hitting the electric reel. He got a 30 inch snapper and I got a nice fat bee liner. Nice, tasty fish. We're going to fill the box with some delicious meat. Again, do a little catch and cook. Let's freaking go. There we go. We got a good one coming up on the electric grill now. That thing freaking hammered it. We are in a grouper spot. Would be awesome to get a grouper. He's kind of fighting like a big red snapper though. We'll see what we got when we get it up here. It's not a giant, but it's probably the heaviest fish I've caught on the electric reel today. You're nowhere near as big as I thought you were. Keep it or toss it back? I just threw that same side back. Throw it back? Yeah. All right. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. All right, I just switched over to squid and I'm getting hit pretty instantly. Hoping we can get more than one here. There we go. That's gotta be more than one fish. Let's see what we got here. It's still just one fish, but it's a nice one. It's another pee 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 This is another tank vermilion snapper. Bee liner, mingo, whatever you want to call it. Sandwich is what I call it. All right, we're going to drop down some more squid, see if we can find a few more of these. I didn't even have time to turn the camera on as this, uh, for this one. As soon as it hit, like I was instantly hooked up and just flipped it on. Pretty crazy. We are on the spot, guys. Let's see if we got another bee liner, multiple bee liners. That's a massive porgy. 
PB Porgy. <laughs> Tanner. PBP. I need a picture of that. It's one. the PB Reef Monster, bro. It's totally not needs a name change. PBs for days. I mean, it is PB now Reef the Monster. PB Reef Monster. Check it out, guys. Tank Porgy right here. This is definitely a new PB. It's the PB Reef Monster. All right, guys, we're sending it right back down. Let's see if we can do it again. We're almost at the bottom. There's bottom. Let's see how long this takes. There's fish. There's fish. There's fish. There it is. How quick was that? This is freaking awesome. What are they hitting? Squid. Squid. Yeah. Let's see what it's going to be. That is a bee liner. Another freaking good one going in the box. There's dolphins here. Hey. Hey. You brought the dolphins. All right, guys, me and Captain Spencer over here are about to do a little race with the electric reels. We're both going to drop at the same time. Are we going to do most fish, first fish, or biggest fish? Yeah. Which one? Biggest. Yeah. Most, yeah. most, <laughs> no, first. First, first one to get a fish up. First one, yeah. and the biggest outweighs the other one, you know, if, it's a draw. How about that? So is it first one or biggest one? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> he said, yeah. I said first or biggest, he said yeah. He gets <laughs> Are you Mark? Get set. Let's go. So I have a feeling if I'm first but his is bigger, he wins. And if I'm if he's first and mine's bigger, he still wins. Yeah, that makes sense. How do you win? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Right. It's not first, it's not biggest, it's yeah. Alright, I'm on bottom. All right, I'm taking it. I'm on. Are you even on bottom? I caught a fish before he even got the bottom. There we go. Finally got two on one drop. Nice. Check it out. Doubled up on a couple of these beeliner. I right, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Helps me out a ton. Make sure you check the links down in the description to make sure you are all up to date on everything we got going on. The email list as well as the job openings if you are interested in getting a job at the tackle store or the warehouse. If you have not already subscribed, please go do so now. We got a lot of cool stuff coming out, especially about the tackle store. Hope you guys did enjoy the offshore video. I will catch y'all in the next one.